When I got the accident, I'm very angry. I thought all is gone. I was thinking, where am I going to start my life again? What am I going to do? What can I do again? In this Nigeria, we have a lot of amputees, more than one million. I lost my leg through motor accident. Some of the amputees, they sleep on the street. They don't even have home. And some of them are good businessmen. Some of them are ex-football players that they play. But as soon as this thing happens, you start having problems even with your friends. People will start running away from you. Because they believe that what you are doing before, you can't do it any longer. I'm 15 when I lost my leg. My accident caused by football. One day we went to a match. So unfortunately, somebody matched my chin. So my chin got broken. So they took me to native doctor. That's our tradition doctors. We had a straight leg with native, in a native way. The leg gets spoiled, the leg bad. Then they weren't to cut it, to amputate it. Just like that. Even if I apply for work, they will not give me because they believe, they will think because of my disability, I will not do anything. People say I should go and beg money. We cannot beg. We cannot go and go out there, stand for road, start asking somebody for money. I'm not staying in a comfortable place. Welcome to my home. After some years, I began to realize two leg or one leg football is football. Football brings us together. You know, football is a game of love. It's a game of entertainment, you know, to, to, you know, to gather the whole countries together. You know, when you play it, you feel happy. You feel happy, you have more, as in you have more power. The first time I played football, I saw myself strong. I saw myself doing things which I cannot do before. That is the strength I got through football. I have a mission to accomplish. And what is that mission is to play football.